Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can compare monetary incentives, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a sample problem here on the screen. Four stores are offering discounts on camping chairs. We've got store A, B, C, and D. You want to buy three chairs. We have to keep that in mind. And the original price at all four stores is $15 each, but very common for stores to offer you some kind of discount, but they all give it to you in a different way. So we want to compare which store has the best discount for the price of three chairs, and they all start at $15. So store A is going to be pretty easy. Buy two, get one free. So if I get two different chairs, that's going to be 15 plus 15. That's going to get me $30 total. And if I buy those two, I'm going to get the third one for free. So I end up with three chairs, and that was pretty simple. It's only going to cost me 30 bucks. Seems like a pretty good discount, but we don't know until we compare against all the rest. So 20% off the original price. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take 20% of 15 and then just add that three times. If you want, you can do 15 times three and then take 20%. So 20% is going to be 0.2 because you take the decimal, which if you don't see it, it's at the end of the ones place. You move it over once, twice, you drop the decimal. So that's 0.20, but really I just need a 0.2. So let's multiply that because when I want to say 20% of then that means I'm going to be multiplying. So 2 times 5 is 10. So that's 30. But remember, I've got one digit behind the decimal in the factor, so one digit behind the decimal in my product. So 20% off, that's minus $3. So I'm going to take my $15 price, take away 3. So this 20% off is a $12 price. Now I've got three of them for $12 each. And that's going to get me 36 bucks. So even though 20% seems like a pretty good deal, not as good as store A. So store C, buy three, get $10 off. Okay, let's just buy three. I've got 15, 15, 15, or I guess I could have multiplied by three, but that's fine. That is going to be 15. That's $45. Take away 10, and that is going to be $35. That's actually pretty close to store C. So I'm getting closer, but not quite there yet. So I need to check out store D before I go ahead and circle that store A, just in case store D is a little bit closer. So one fourth off the original price. So one fourth of, and I've got 15. So what I can actually do is I can actually make that into a multiplication because of lets us know we need a time. And when if we need to multiply fractions, we need a numerator and a denominator for each. They don't have to be the same. It's not like adding and subtracting. So any whole number could be turned into a fraction if you make it over one. So I'm just going to multiply straight across this beauty of multiplying decimals. 1 times 15 is 15. 4 times 1 is 4. Now that doesn't help me because that's an improper fraction. Let's divide up and see what I'm going to get. So 4 goes into 15 almost 4 times, so it's going to be 3. That's 12. And so let's bring that decimal down. 4 goes into 30. That's going to be seven times, 28, there we go, now we're going to finally get that five, okay, so one fourth of fifteen dollars is three seventy five, so that's how much is off, so now I need to take my fifteen dollars, subtract my three seventy five discount, and that is going to be 11.25. Let's multiply that by 3 because remember I need 3 of them. 33.75. My answer is still going to be A.